Joining me now from Fairfax, Virginia, senior correspondent with Just the News and Daily Ledger contributor Nicholas Ballacy. Nick, in Idaho, was it a protest? Was it uh, a woman just simply exercising her constitutional rights? Was it a day at the park and having her child play? Maybe it was all three, a little of all three. Either way, a woman is now apparently in hot water. A mom is simply because she brought her child to the playground. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't there, but from what I've read, uh, the police could have given her a little more time than five seconds to vacate the area. I mean, she had children with her and parents all over the country are struggling to, you know, keep their children entertained during this pandemic. But look, I mean, the stay at home orders don't seem to be going away anytime soon. And if everybody followed that woman and her lead and just went out, I mean, the government's going to keep saying, look, the spread of the virus is not slowing down at all. And they're going to keep these stay at home orders in place. So it seems that following these are the best way to get this under control as quick as possible so the economy can get back to regular order. You know what would happen, Nick, if, if uh, all the moms in this country did what that woman did, and if all the people who want to work went back to work? Uh, we'd have this thing called a functioning country again. Uh, and there are a lot of people like that woman in Idaho simply out on a nice, warm, sunny day in Idaho uh, trying to exercise her constitutional rights. And there are, there's more and more evidence that what these buffoons in the state government are doing by shutting down our society is too little too late. There's more and more evidence that the Wuhan coronavirus has been with us for months and months. So why now? Why the draconian shutdown? Well, I think there needs to be an investigation of some sort into the source of this virus. I mean, people have been talking about how it's probably coming from China. That's the general consensus. But a congressional investigation should go underway to find out the, the source of it, how it started. I mean, there are reports that the people who died in California of the virus actually died a lot earlier right. than was reported. So that's something that I think needs to be investigated so we can fully understand as a country how this started so it can be prevented in the future. Uh, the, the country spends over $80 billion a year on intelligence gathering, and there are areas of our intelligence community specifically focused on medical intelligence. How they didn't see this coming so that it could have been addressed earlier is something that needs to be looked into by our lawmakers and by our government as a whole. Well, I'll tell you what the Intel Committee was doing. It was trying to remove the 45th president of the United States. While this thing was spreading in our country, Adam Schiff was on the well of the United States Senate trying to take out the 45th president of the United States and leave it to government to create a problem. The virus isn't the problem. It's the government response that's the problem. So the government screws up our society, and then the government has a response and screws that up, for example, sending checks to prisoners. We're, there are reports about checks going to deceased people, stimulus checks going to inmates. And the case there is because the IRS is using data, tax data from 2018, if you haven't filed a tax return in 2019. So they're just sending out checks to anyone who filed these tax returns with Social Security numbers. <laughs> some of those people are deceased. Some of them are in jail. And they're getting $1,200 stimulus checks uh, in, as part of this CARES Act that was passed, $2.2 trillion yeah. by Congress. Yeah, our tax dollars are going to dead people and to uh, felons. It's a, it's a nice response, typical government response to a government-created problem. Nick, thanks. Coming up next, what happens when tyrants in government respond to a government-created crisis? As the Daily Ledger continues.